Hey guys! <sighs> I know that every single YouTuber says this in every single video, but I am genuinely so excited and just happy to be here sitting in my new makeup room filming a freaking makeup tutorial. Yes! So as you can see, I have all of my things. I have my background in my new makeup room and I just feel so much happier than I felt in the past month or so. I just feel so relieved and so happy that everything came here in one piece, like nothing came broken in the pods. So here's my plan for today. This video might be a little all over the place because I do kind of want to just talk to you guys about life in general, what's been going on. This will not be a negative, pessimistic video like my I moved back to Oregon video because I'm, I'm happy now, guys. I feel good. But I did get my Sephora order in. That was my last video, I think. And I have the Milk Cosmetics palette. I don't know how to say the name of it. It's Amore e Mariposas. Mariposas. What does that mean? I think it's butterflies. Love and butterflies? Butterfly, oh my gosh, I was so right. Shit, I'm good at that. Yeah, so it's love and butterflies. That's so cute. Okay, now that I know what that means. Look at this freaking palette. I have been weirdly obsessed with butterflies recently. Like I just got this gym shirt that has like butterflies all over it. I got like freaking butterfly tattoos. Like, it was cute. So anyways, here is the palette inside. These colors, are you kidding me? One of this, sorry, overwhelmed. I think this palette launched maybe a month or two ago and I wasn't gonna buy it at first, but I saw such good reviews on this on Sephora and these colors are just so stunning. I love all these colors, greens and purples with the mix of like kind of corally peachy shades in there. It's freaking stunning. And I think I wanna do a green eyeshadow look today. Like I think I'm just gonna stick to like this whole top row of the palette right there. How freaking stunning. So my goal for this video is to do a pretty glam, maybe slightly crazy eyeshadow look because I haven't played with color in over a month. So I just, I wanna dig into color, you know? And as I'm doing my eyeshadow, I just wanna talk about life. I wanna talk about my makeup room and just how things are in boring Oregon. So let's do that. Let's get started. Also, I'm gonna need your guys' like input on a lot of things. First of all, I'm filming in front of a window. This is all natural light right now. And from what I see, it looks pretty freaking good. I have no artificial lights on and it's like, really, really cloudy. I can't see any bit of sky and rainy today, but like, this looks perfect for this lighting. So let me know your thoughts on that. So I love how this room is set up because I can actually film in front of a window for the first time in my whole YouTube career. Like this setup just looks perfect right now. So I feel like it's great that you guys can see everything in natural light because that's how makeup looks in real life. I also have my camera on auto right now. Usually I do manual settings with my artificial light, but since I'm in front of a window and the lighting might change a little bit, we're doing, auto so just let me know your overall thoughts on how you think the video looks and how the coloring looks and I can kind of work off of that you know all right so I have my eyebrows mostly on and then I prime my eyes with the rare beauty eye primer and I set that with the translucent powder now let's dig into this eyeshadow palette so excited for green I don't know what I'm doing I got these brushes from makeup geek that I want to try out today and particularly because Sigma is like out of stock on like pretty much all of their brushes that I use in all my videos, you know, like the E30, E25, E27, E35, all that stuff. Like I'm pretty sure they're all out of stock, including my brush set. And I've gotten lots of questions from you guys. So it looks like they'll be back in stock in March, their individual brushes plus my brush set. I know that's really far away. And so I wanted to try these brushes to maybe like recommend these if they're good or not. I haven't used them yet. I'm just taking all the plastic off, but they feel really soft and just a really easy to hold. So I'm excited about this. I don't know the price of these, but as always, everything will be linked down below. And I do have a coupon code of Makeup Geek. I think it's just Angela Bright for 10% off. So I don't know, let's see how these brushes do and I'll let you guys know if I like them. So I'm gonna start with the Soft Dome Brush. All right, let's start with this one. This is Carino. And again, I'm using the Soft Dome Brush. Let's try to dust that in the crease here. Oh, this brush is so soft. Oh my goodness. That went on so easily. This also could be the eyeshadow palette because Milk Cosmetics eyeshadows are just beautiful and stunning and pigmented in every way. This is exciting. Guys, this literally took like no effort at all. Shit. I know I've said I'm happy 12,000 times now, but like, 
I just genuinely feel so good right now and so excited to be filming again. So let me tell you a little bit about this kind of space in my makeup room here. In case you didn't watch my other video, I did move back to Oregon and I'm in a city called Boring, Oregon. And what's great about the setup is that my parents are my next door neighbors. <laughs> my parents bought a house out here, which is very exciting. And the house has a separate ADU unit, which is an adult dwelling unit. So, so in this unit, the whole downstairs is the kitchen, living room, bedroom and a full bathroom and it's attached to one of the garages and you go through the garage up the stairs which is where I am right now and up here there's a giant freaking bonus room two other bedrooms and then a half bath so like this place is freaking huge and I love it at first I thought this setup would be kind of weird like having to kind of go to a whole separate area to do my work but it's actually really nice because I mean, this is my first time filming, but it feels like I'm actually going to work because I've always had my makeup room like in my apartments. I would always get like a two bedroom apartment. And so having this like really separate from my living space is actually really nice. And I think it's really gonna help me kind of separate my you know, work life from regular life. All right, so I kind of have that green like kind of sloppily on. You see all these like harsh edges here. So I'm just gonna take a skin tone colored shadow. Again, on the same brush and just soften these. This room is just a perfect size. Like I said, I'm facing a window. It's larger than all the rooms in my like last couple apartments. And what's really nice is that I can use the bonus room for like my bright lashes storage. So all of like my inventory is out there in the bonus room and this bonus room is freaking huge. In my other video, a lot of you guys said to turn the bonus room into like a little like workout space, gym room, which is honestly, it's a great idea because you know, my boyfriend and I, we work out every single day. It's like a big part of our lives. But I'm the kind of person who loves going to the gym. I love the gym environment and I feel like I push myself harder in the gym, especially when there's like people around. Does that make sense? I know some people are the total opposite. Like my boyfriend would love to have a home gym. Like he would be so happy with that, but I honestly just don't want to buy gym equipment. Like gym equipment's expensive. I'd rather pay a gym membership, right? But we did put like a yoga mat up here and like just some stretching stuff. So it's kind of like a stretching, relaxing meditation area. In the future, we might add like a, a second entertainment center, another TV, another couch, because there's so much room up here. All right, this green is popping, looks much more blended now. Now I'm gonna take the same brush and just scoot over one green shade, take this one. I'm just gonna press out on the outer kind of third of my lid here. You guys know I like a deep outer corner. So yeah, the space is amazing. I really like our living situation and it's nice because like, I guess my parents are our neighbors and I know that some people would absolutely hate that, but like, like I get along with my parents pretty well. Um, and it's nice that like we're not sharing a wall or anything. It's like we have two separate buildings. I can see their house from where I'm sitting right now. Um, but you know, they can't hear us and we can't hear them. So it works out, it works for now. Uh, my heater just kicked on, so if you hear that, that's what it is. It's a bit chilly here compared to Texas, obviously. What else? Okay, my makeup room. And this is the first time like it's not been in an apartment, so I kind of have some freedom to do things with it, right? Okay, and hear me out. What if I painted this wall behind me black? Am I crazy? I've been on like a painting streak recently our downstairs living room when we got here was like this ugly pale yellow with like gray kitchen cabinets and it just looked awful so we painted that um it's like a really 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 light gray almost white color it's called like aesthetic white from sherwin williams i think so we painted the whole living room for the first time and it went great i think i talked about this a little bit in my other video but painting went fantastic i didn't tape off anything i can paint edges so well apparently so i'm glad like i feel like my makeup skills transferred to painting skills I don't know. And then in our bedroom, I didn't want to paint the whole bedroom, but this one wall was just like really fucked up. Like, and I couldn't find the right can of paint in the garages of what the people before us used. And there were just like so many holes and scratches on this wall and I wanted to fix that. So I just painted one wall with the aesthetic white color and it looks totally fine because the other walls were kind of like a slight bluish gray. I'm gonna take this tiny defined crease brush and just kind of blend around these edges here. Okay, so I painted one of our bedroom colors and then in my parents' house, their laundry room was like a bright yellow color. Who does yellow walls? Like that's just not my vibe. It's not my mom's vibe either. So she was like, 
will you guys paint our laundry room? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we painted my parents' laundry room, again, the same color. So like so many walls are now this aesthetic white color. Anyways, I now feel very confident in my painting skills. And so I could paint one of the walls in here. Right now, they're like a very, it's an off white color with a blue undertone to it. Does that make sense? I have always wanted a black room, a black wall, something with black. I just, I love black. So would that be crazy? Like, sorry, I'm getting so distracted, but this is what, this what this what's happening. All of my organizers here are white. I have this table that has black legs on it. And then I have my cool light that like can change colors. So imagine this entire wall black. Can you picture it? Can someone like Photoshop it for me? Like that would be great, please, thank you. Let me know your thoughts. Like my boyfriend and my mom think I'm absolutely crazy for wanting a black wall. But then I was like, well, what about like a dark gray? Like I want a dark color and like, but I don't want like a dark green. I think dark green's beautiful, but that's, I'm not dark green. I'm now gonna take the, oh, it's a concealer brush. Well, I'm using it for blending and just kind of going over around the eyeshadow here. A little soft blend, I have nothing on the brush here. I don't know, I really wanna do it and I could like film a video on it. I think that could be kind of fun. I'm gonna pick up more of that same color I was using. I should probably switch to a smaller brush, huh? Outer V brush, actually that's perfect. And that same kind of deeper green I was just using. I've only used two colors so far. And just making sure it's really pigmented right out here. And then I have like all my music stuff in the bonus room too. So like maybe I could do more singing videos, some more like playing music stuff, like I'm just, so happy and so grateful to have all of this space. Like this is just, it's amazing guys. All right, on that same outer V brush, I'm gonna take this deepest matte green, this one right here. I'm just gonna deepen up this tiny bit more. Okay, I'm kind of packing this a little higher right here. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> you brought me something? What did you bring me? A smoothie? <gasps> you brought me a Coke? Thank you. Cause you're working hard up here. Yeah, I am. You deserve it. Thank you, baby. Um, what else should we talk about? This just whole month has been so wild, just January in general. Um, can I talk about one sad thing that happened though? My family dog that we've had for, I think she was 14 and a half, she passed away about a week or two ago now, which is pretty sad. Her name was Gracie and she was a toy cockapoo. She was an old lady, like she, she did not look good. And she was just losing weight so fast and just wasn't eating. I think she had like arthritis as well. So we put her down about two weeks ago and it's just kind of sad. But I mean like, honestly, I thought she was gonna die when I was like at college. So I was kind of already like mentally prepared for that, you know? But like I really thought I'd be gone when she passed away So it was kind of weird being like back home like back with my parents when it happened family got Gracie I think I was like wait if she was 14 years old when I would, I would be 10 years old I was 10 years old when we got her and she was my baby like when I was younger and lived at home Like she would sleep with me every night. She was very cuddly But you know now I'm an adult and I have my own dog Rue, which is the angel of my life. It's sad, but we all knew it was coming like Christmas day. We all kind of knew it was going to be like her last Christmas with us. But I mean, that's just life. Death happens. Sad. I wish there was a brush that was like kind of more like the E25, like kind of flattened out a little bit because this is a pretty round brush. Actually, you know what I need? My Sigma switch here and get off some of that pigment because there's lots of green on this brush right now. Okay, so I clean off this brush a bit and I'm just gonna softly blend over this deeper green that I just put on. We need a gorgeous shade on the lid. So I was kind of thinking this tequila shade, multi-purpose eye brush. And I'm gonna pick up tequila. I'm gonna use the shade dry at first and just see how it applies. Let's see here. Okay, so I don't love how that applied. Um, this happens a lot with shimmer shades. Doesn't mean the shadow's a problem or the brush. It's just how things happen. Yeah, I'm gonna use my finger. There we go. See, that's what we want. I feel like some people might ask just like how, how is it living in a small town? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about boring Oregon. I mean, we've only lived here for three weeks to a month now. But honestly, I kind of like being not in Portland, not in Beaverton or Tigard area. Like that's where I'm from. It's kind of nice not living right next to like restaurants and shopping centers. Like there's not a lot of traffic. It's really easy to get to places. And most places we need are in Gresham, like our gyms in Gresham. A lot of the places we shop at are in Gresham. Um, so it's a really easy drive there, like 15 minutes or so. And it's just not as busy as like the Portland Beaverton area. So it's really nice. 
Okay, so I like how that looks, but I want to add another shade. So there's this, okay, we got two options here. So if I'm looking at my eyes, I wanna place it in between the shimmer and that. I think let's do that first one. I'm gonna take this one on my finger. Let's take that and, ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm liking Boring Orient. I like where we live. And as someone who works from home, it's so nice to not hear traffic or like, uh, or like fire trucks, just things like that. It's just so peaceful and quiet. And it's so beautiful out here. It's just beautiful. And you can see Mount Hood from here. So like if my boyfriend and I are driving to go get coffee, there's a Dutch Bros about like 10, 12 minutes away. And on our drive to Dutch Bros, you get this stunning view of Mount Hood and just all these trees like underneath it. And sometimes it's like really foggy and it just looks so cool. And every single time we drive by it, we're just like shocked by how freaking stunning it is. Like this, Oregon is just so beautiful and I'm so happy to be back in Oregon. Like this is where I belong. I belong with trees. I think I'm gonna stop there on the top lid for now. Let's work on the lower part of the face. I need to... Wait, my beauty blender. Okay, so I got the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I feel like everyone is using like this kind of glowy product underneath their bases. Um, I actually got this from this app, it's called Flip. This is not sponsored. I did do a sponsored Instagram post with them, but me talking about it right now, not sponsored. But it's kind of cool, let me tell you about it. So it's this app called Flip, and it's kind of like if makeup reviews and TikTok had a baby. It's like short videos, where people can review products and you can like just easily see a ton of video reviews on products. They're all real reviews too because you would have had to buy the product through Flip. So if I like bought this from Sephora, I can't write a review on this from Flip. You have to buy it from the Flip app to be able to write a review on it. So you know that all the reviews are like legit. They're all just real people. It's just like a fun little app. It's kind of cool. Anyways, I got this on there because everyone's using like a glowy serum. It's pretty cute. From my Sephora order, I bought the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I've seen such good things about this. I got the shade Light 4 DeVille. This might be a tad bit light on me because I am fake tan, but I just really want to try it. So let's do that. And personally, I love the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So let's see how I feel about this. They my little Sephora haul video, my little shop with me. A couple of people said that the NARS one has like similar reviews to the new Charlotte Tilbury one because they were out of that one when I was shopping. Now it's kind of sad, but this looks good. And again, I'm feeling like a natural lighting. I'm a little stuck on video ideas just because I'm finally now like getting back into the swing of like filming and working again and creating content. So if you guys have any like video requests, let me know. Um, I did get these like little ColourPop jewel palettes. I think I'm gonna do a video with one of those. I just posted on my Instagram today. It feels really lightweight though. Like it doesn't feel thick at all. Except I just caked it onto my forehead, so. Okay, maybe that's how you should do it. Like apply with your fingers and then blend it out. I don't know. Nobody told me how to do this. But I do think I wanna do another unedited makeup tutorial again because you guys loved that video when I posted it. I think it was the beginning of this year. I think it was like my first video of January. I was shocked by how many people liked that because for me, I thought it'd be really boring. Like, so I totally see like why you guys like the unedited video because you guys get to see everything in real time and like how I would just like fix little mistakes and things like that. So I definitely want to do another one and I might do it with this palette because like doing a colorful look definitely takes a lot of time. So I think that'll be kind of fun to show. I like how that looks. Um, let me look close up. I suck at reviewing foundations, but here we go. It doesn't look cakey. Actually, since I'm in natural light, like you guys can see everything. Like, yeah, you can still see my texture right here. I would call it like a light to medium coverage, maybe more on the medium side since I did so many pumps of it. But I like this. I'm gonna take the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in custard and just kind of cover those little blemishes that are kind of peeking through still I'm trying to think like what else is going on like what else do i have to talk about guys when the pods were delayed okay so they were supposed to come january 11th and that's the date they told us when we like booked the pods and it's like a guaranteed date so we're like all right that's three weeks without our stuff in oregon it's fine we can do that like just kind of living off the bare minimum january 10th rolls around 
we get a call and the guy's like confirming the delivery. He's like, all right, and he just needed like instructions on how to get to the house and just the street and all that crap. We thought it was like pretty settled. And then later that day, the day before they're supposed to come, they were like, um, the pods are still in transit. They're not coming tomorrow. And like, I, I pretty much panicked. I was not happy. I'm gonna take the Anastasia concealer. So I was super upset that you know, they weren't gonna come that day and they didn't really have like an update for us. They just knew they weren't coming. And I'm sitting there like overthinking everything. And because they couldn't give us an update, I just, my brain started going crazy. And I pretty much convinced myself that the pods were just never gonna come. I was like, our stuff is lost forever. Our things are never gonna come. I'm gonna have to rebuy everything. My whole makeup collection's gone. Like I was a fucking mess. <laughs> like I have my boyfriend calling U-Haul like every day, like, where the hell is our stuff? Like they can't give us any update. Like they seriously didn't know where the pods were. But with the U-Haul pods, like we got insurance on them. We got like a $10,000 insurance. So at one point my boyfriend's like, well, when do we, when are these lost? Like when do we, when can we claim the insurance? And they eventually got in contact with the actual driver who was driving our pods and could finally give us an update. And it's like, okay, so as soon as we bring up the insurance, then you can finally give us an update. Cause we're like, not like threatening them, but we're just like, where the fuck is our stuff? They like found the driver and gave us an update and they're like, all right, your stuff is gonna come whatever Saturday that was. I think it was the 15th. And our pod showed up bright and early on Saturday the 15th. And I was very happy. <laughs> and then we even got movers the same day, which was amazing. So I, it was a blessing. I'm happy. But honestly, I was just planning for the worst. Like, is anyone else like that? My boyfriend thought I was crazy, but I was just spiraling out of control. But everything's fine now. Everything's great, and I'm so happy. Guys, this foundation looks good as it's like settling in. Okay, I'm kind of upset because in my Sephora order, if you watch the video, I ordered the KVD little contour wand. But I think like as I was checking out, it got removed from my car because I think it went out of stock, so I don't have that. Um, but I do have a very, very old Charlotte Tilbury wand. So I'm gonna try this. I've had this for a while, guys. Also, no one ever talked about how shitty the packaging is. Unless they updated it, maybe that happened. But like, this little twisty thing gets so dirty. I saw this TikTok where she took this product and she was like, on everyone's face, there's like a place where like, your teeth meet and you can like poke through and hit your teeth. Put a dot of contour there and just blend it out in that one spot. And I wanna try that. I think for me, it's like right here. So I'm gonna take some of this and I'm just gonna do a dot on each side. And she says just blend it out right there. Like don't, don't move your brush. I moved my brush guys. I can't not move my brush. What did I just do? I don't know. Did I do too much product? I can't, oh fuck. So this looks like a really low contour, doesn't it? Someone help me. Okay, I'm moving my brush. Oh no, this is a low contour. This is not how you should contour your face. Do not follow me for this. Okay, I fucked up. Okay, I think I should have used a lot less product because there's no way I could have blended that out in just that one spot of my face. I forget how good this contour wand is though. The shade, like the undertone is just beautiful. I'm gonna take more. And this is just kind of fun to like dot it on. Um, I have lots of compliments on my hair in my last video. So thank you for that. I did get it touched up by a professional. I know the last couple times I've done it myself. I decided to go get it done and I found this little salon that's like literally 10 minutes from my house. And this girl was super sweet and she was like my age and did my hair. And so she brightened up my purple. Like look at this purple. It's freaking beautiful. So just the front of my hair is purple and then this is all a 3N. She just kind of touched that up and made it all a little bit deeper. And I love it. Like having this bit of purple just feels like so me. Does that make sense? Like I just feel very comfortable in this hair. But yeah, I think next time I go get my hair done, cause my roots go really fast, I might add more purple. Cause I wear my hair up a lot, right? You know, I go to the gym and stuff. So when I pull it back, like you just see all this darkness. So maybe like just more purple around like my hairline and just like a little pop of purple. Guys, my base looks good. I mean, my contour is like really freaking low, but 
I need to use this product more. Where have I been? As far as blush goes, I do have this powder blush I want to use. Again, I got it on the Flip app. It's by Jason Wu. I know nothing about this brand, but I know it's inexpensive and I think you can get it at Target. But let me know if you've tried anything from this brand because I like this little blush palette in 05 Sext, like that. It's a cute little trio, right? Anyways, I'm taking the Chisel Cheek. I think I'm gonna use this shade, this kind of deeper one. So let's just swoop that on here. I'm gonna take a little more blush, and since this is kind of a deeper color, like right here on my kind of temple, and of course, let's take a little across the nose. Guys, this foundation looks good. Another close up for you as I'm layering on products. In my Sephora video, I bought a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's cute and little. This is the shade two. Um, I'm gonna try this as a highlighter. See how this looks on top of the powder I just set down, but should be okay. I freaking love my base makeup right now. All right, let's zoom back in and finish up the eyes. I think what I love about this palette too is the green and purple together. I love pairing green and purple eyeshadow together. So part of me really wants to do purple on the lower lash line. But the other part of me is like, just keep it green. But purple, I'm gonna do deep purple. You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna clean off one of the little brushes on my switch. This is the Defined Crease Brush. I'm gonna take this gorgeous Maria shade and let's just go along the lower lash line here. Oh, this shade of purple is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this. Have I done a look similar to this before? Probably, like I said, I love green and purple together. Oh my gosh, I could do a whole makeup look with just this color though. So this brush is really nice for the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my little skin tone colored shadow and just kind of soften out that purple again with the same brush. Okay, because I'm crazy, I wanna take a little bit of this kind of coppery shade right here and I'm gonna take it on my pinky, your tiniest finger, tiny bit, and I wanna hit it right in here. Going right in this inner part here. Kind of like a pinky copper. And then let's kind of soften that just a tad. Okay, I seriously can't wait to do a purple look with this palette. I think that'll be my next, my unedited video. Hope you guys don't mind too many videos with this palette, but this is stunning. There's not like an actual highlight shade in this palette, so I'm just gonna take any highlight that I like, pop that in my inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna pop off camera and apply some mascara and lashes and some lips, and I'll show you the full look. Okay, it's a little too dark for this natural lighting. It's 425, yeah, I gotta turn on a light. I'm so sorry, guys. Ugh. I'm just gonna turn on my ring light. That's a really bright, no, 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 no. I don't know, I still gotta mess with the lighting on when I'm filming like with my lights. The sun's gone, there's no more light. I'm wearing my brand of bright lashes in the style Lush. Such a pretty lash, I love this one. And then for my lips in my Sephora video, I bought the Gloss Bomb Heat in Fenty Glow. So let's try this. I just lined my lips with the MAC Whirl lip liner. Let's try this just by itself. I love the gloss on, so I have high expectations for this. My boyfriend was like, why do you need a plumping lip gloss if you have lip filler? I was like, the plumper the better. It still feels like just as creamy as a regular gloss is. Let's see if anything happens. I haven't worn a plumping lip gloss in so long. It's still so shiny and beautiful though. Love the color, glad I got this one. I probably will get fussy eventually though, because I love fussy. I know this lighting isn't great right now, but the sun left. I should have started filming earlier, my bad. But here's a final look. Let me zoom in, show you the eyes here. That pop of blue right there, stunning. Like these shimmers are so gorgeous and I love the little coppery one right in there. Whew. I can definitely feel the plumping effects now, but it's like, it's bearable, it's not bad at all. This palette's freaking beautiful. I loved every single shade I used today. Like I said, I love mixing green and purple together. Like this is just stunning. Something I would definitely wanna keep on my table when I wanna do a colorful look. And like I said, I will do another unedited tutorial and I think I'll do it kind of with like, you know, the bottom two rows right here. Oh, that'll be so fun. So stay tuned for that video. I just overall really like my makeup today. Even with the ring light, like that NARS foundation, looks so like skin-like. Like it doesn't look cakey or heavy. It looks really, really good. My skin type is more like normal to dry. I'm not really oily, so if that helps, 
there you go. But anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you watched this whole video, thank you. I love you. I hope you enjoyed just kind of chatting with me. I feel like I talked a lot in this video, but like I said, I was just, I was so happy to be filming today. Like, oh, I feel so good right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.